Alright guys, so this is my WA320. This is the sister machine to the machine that we are looking at over at DMR. That's getting the transmission work. But I thought it'd be interesting just to kind of see what the machine is supposed to look like with the transmission. So, it was unfortunate that the machine that we have has gotten in trouble, but there's a guy's is an idea of what it's supposed to look like with the transmission. But it's a big job, big job, and it's gonna be costly, very costly. Some of the parts on there, we're looking at some of them $1,500 just for one gear. The bearings are like 150 bucks each, and it requires probably probably 10 different types of bearings. So it's gonna be expensive. It's gonna be really expensive. These machines, brand new, are probably about $350,000, 300,000, between 320, somewhere in that neighborhood. But I'm not looking forward to spending that kind of money. So I will continue to repair the loader that I have we're thinking it's probably going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of twenty five to thirty five thousand dollars to replace the either repair or replace the transmission so it's an unhappy day but we will have the machine back up and running we will put the money out to repair it these machines cost me about just under a hundred thousand dollars to buy used it's I could go out and buy another used one but the machine's been good to me up to here and I'll have a good transmission in it and it'll last me a good long time. This is where our loader is. It's a real nice truck they got, these guys got here, huh? And one of our loaders um, has got some issues and uh, you can see in there they got the crane, they pulled the cab off. We had a transmission issue and these guys are gonna take care of it for us. So a special thanks to DMR equipment repair. If you guys ever need any equipment repair, reach out for Dave and he can help you out. All right guys, this is one of our WA320s. Had some transmission issues and you can you see there is something missing. We're over here at DMR Equipment Repair and they are going to take the trans apart. We're going to find out what's going on with it. She looks pretty different. Here's some of the body panels they got in the bucket so they don't lose them. I like to see that kind of stuff. And here's the cab. Uh, it's not supposed to be on the floor, ladies and gentlemen, but uh, you know, they were able to get it off. They have the equipment to do the job and that's why it's here. So we're hoping that we're gonna see some uh, success in getting this machine back up and running. Believe it or not, as much as you see apart, they're only halfway there. They still gotta take the transmission out. It's gonna be a big job for these fellas, but we appreciate them working on the machines and. We're hoping to see this machine back up and running pretty soon. We know it's got snow work. We don't think it's going to take that long, but we'll see. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. So this is what happens when you got to put a transmission in a loader. Yeah, this is the pump that I was talking about that was changed. The remand. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, uh... You can see it. The lines are still marked. For when they, last time the cat was on. <laughs> so these guys put a tremendous amount of work into this machine. You can see the cabs over there. Uh, and uh, yeah, this isn't good guys, but this is why I tell you, I charge you $19.99 on the mult. This is one of the reasons why. Okay, the pump is out now. So you got everything capped over. And the bulk is being taken out. And that is over here. Okay, and we're gonna open that up, take a look inside there. And they're after it, so that's a good thing. We'll be back up and running soon. A big hole there. Where the trans used to be. Get it all out of there. Get it off. 
kinds of stuff. I have no idea what it's called. But I know that that's where the trans was. We just got it out. We just missed him. There's a transmission. Doesn't look like a trans, does it? It looks like an engine coming. That's what makes this thing move. So hopefully by the end of the day, we'll know exactly what the problem is, why the trans is not working right. Here's the transmission. These are supposed to be bearings here, so they're missing. When I say bearings, they're supposed to look like those. So the shaft's all damaged. They had to grind this off to get this stuff off. So this is pretty much shot. So come in here, down here. This is all metal. It's all metal. So that's bad. So we got a bunch of uh, teeth in here. This got all chunked up and damaged. So there's all broken pieces here. So all this needs to be replaced. All these gears here. Uh, while it's all apart, we're gonna put all new bearings in them so there's no gloppity gook in there. So you can see this table basically is the transmission, everything apart. Um, over here, <clears throat> over here we have our clutch bands, our clutch, and you can see they're all kind of wobbly. That's supposed to sit flat on the floor, and you can see that is not flat. So they're destroyed. So all that needs to be replaced. So this is going to be an expensive job. Um, you know, we're hoping for the best, hoping maybe that it was just going to be a pump, but uh, it was a, quite, quite a bit more than that. So guys, this is one of the perks of owning your own business. You get to purchase equipment and replace and fix equipment very high cost so this is what we're looking at this is the transmission apart we'll take another look at the machine while we're here and this is what it came out as you can see we got a big gaping hole right here that's where the transmission usually sits they got it all over take this out through where the cab usually sits so they got it out pretty quickly the machine's only been here about a week so I'm pretty happy with with the progress and moving things take another look here and you can see the bucket is now filled with uh, quite a more quite a bit more things here more hoses more body pieces more bolts and nuts so they're keeping it together with the machine, so that's that's a good thing. And here's the cab here. There I am in the mirror. <clears throat> Slow but sure. Slow but sure. And there's the pump again. That's in good shape. All right, guys, this is it. Trouble, trouble. How's it feel? Going up and down the hill, okay? Try to pick anything up? All the video of the thing being torn apart. I'm gonna have to put it in reverse. Yeah, 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 it's big too.
So this is the machine that we just put a brand new transmission in. The mechanics have brought it over. They want us to do some test work with it. And then once we are, they're going to put the skins back on it.